Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. We're gonna part two of Let's Play Legend of the Mystical Ninja, brought to you by MunchGames.ca. Alright, we made it to Shikoku Island, and apparently a lot of these weird people are wearing masks. Oh yeah, you got dogs to battle as well. There's something strange about the Hiotoko people at this year's festival. They're up to something. You should be careful. Alright, I'll be careful. I mean, alright, I'll be careful. That's a weird voice to be talking in, I apologize for that. But I tried to enunciate how the people look with their voice. That's how I became such an awesome voice actor in some of my Let's Plays. Even though some people might disagree with that. Some people just prefer that I not talk at all, ever. But I'm a Let's Player, so that's half my role! Whoa! You're weird! I beat you now. With my yo-yo. Of destruction. Uh, let's talk to this random person. The Hiotoko people are dancing in the south square of the town. Well, that's half flavor text, and the other half is, well, guess we know we gotta go south. Okay, just be careful with this guy, because you can't really predict when he's gonna shoot. Ah, damn it. I lost one of my sandals as a result, and my yo-yo. So why don't we go north instead? Because we'll find more things to see. Ooh, I almost got hit there. Whoa, it looks like you had way too much coffee. Lantern Man has a weak point! He is surrounded by lanterns! If the lanterns are destroyed, it becomes weak! Weird. I think I should go now. Huh. Okay, be sure to be on the lookout for hidden passages as well. Because if you find them, then of course you can find places to get more cats. I think I should go to the sauna first. Uh, so if you sweat a little, you'll feel rejuvenated. You know what? I will spend a hundred yen to go to the sauna. Get to full health, and that guy's creepy. I shall go now. See too bad I couldn't take that for free, but oh well. Sometimes you gotta spend money to survive. Okay, it's a good thing I am at level three for my sandals, because remember, sometimes you have to be level three to get to the golden cats in these hidden areas. And here you had to be at least level 2. Okay, there was a regular cat in there, that's good. Yep, you had to be level 3 for this. Alright, there we go, my health is upgraded even further. Okay, that just took me to a different spot altogether. Was I ever... Okay, looks like I'm back to that spot again. Wait a minute. Whoa! These guys have swords, so be careful with them. I'm going to explore the rest of this area, why not? Okay, so this is where you get the abilities where you're going to need the scrolls. Very valuable to you, you can only use it in this area. I can get number four for... number number one for 400, or number three for 800. So I'm going to press X to leave automatically. If they're only good for one area, that's kind of pointless. Because this area is not hard. It doesn't really warrant having to spend on an ability. Yeah, I know, Mr. Hyperactive. I have no eyelids. My eyes are open all the time. Okay, these guys on the bridge that run at you, don't let them attack you because they will jump and throw lots of yen at you. And no, you cannot spend that money. It's just there to hurt you. Nothing else. Okay, there's a store over there. I should definitely buy some stuff. Okay, you can actually buy some armor now. Yep, so I will buy some more sandals. I'll buy a straw coat. A straw hat. And I think you can just keep buying more to make sure you still have them around whenever you use them. So yeah, the armor will deflect some damage or cause you to take less damage. Which is actually very valuable to have. You know, damage is not a good thing. Uh, yeah, so apparently this Lantern Man we have to deal with. Lantern Man were probably one of the worst robot masters of all time in the Mega Man universe. Which is why he's in a Konami game. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's pretty much all we need to see before we start going back in circles. Yeah, you ain't getting me. 
just getting this armor will be very valuable to us in the long run. Of course, this is not the strongest armor we find. It's only the strongest armor currently available, unfortunately. I know I'm supposed to go left, but why don't we go right first? Because there's much more to explore. Welcome, we've been waiting for you. Will you be staying the night? No. I think you can save here as well? No, no, you can't really save. You have to go to, like, some place that looks like the travel agency, where you can keep a journal. The journal allows you to get a password, where you can save the game. Welcome, welcome! This is the Game Center! All games are 100 yen here! What do I want to play? I want to play... Well, you can't play hockey, because that's a two-player game, unfortunately. Tear down the wall? Sure. And it's basically Breakout. Uh, I think I want a laser for my special ability. To use your ability, just press A. So yeah, basically this is a glorified version of Breakout. I think you can get some money just for winning, I'm not sure. And it looks like I have, like, three lives. That being said, I'm gonna try to finish this level. I think there's only, like, one level per play, though. So, for a little bit of an, a detour, it's pretty short. But if it was too long, then you spend too much time playing these games and not actually the real game. Okay, I think I should have saved my laser, but I think I can hit it now. There, all clear. Please come back again. Yeah, I don't think you get money back. So it's a little something to keep you preoccupied, but there's no real value for it. I don't need to get any more health, because I'm already full. So I'll save on going to the restaurant, or the diner. Oh yeah, and apparently, since I mentioned before that it is two-player, you can join at any time rather than just wait for a new game. Which is pretty nice. Just join in on the fly. Okay, this is the way I want to go, because I haven't gotten there yet. Sorry, doggy. Gonna have to put you down. Okay, this is where you can keep a diary of your travels. Mm, no. Yeah, the password you get is way too long. Maybe next time I'm there, I'll actually keep a diary just to show you how long. Actually, you know what? I will play a game. Otherwise, this video might be too short, or I had to do like two levels in one video. And I'm gonna play Mole this time. Press the corresponding buttons on your control pad. Keep hitting! The slow course is easy, but you can get twice the score in the faster course. Um, let's go with slow course for now. Yeah, so the left side is your D-pad. And the right side is, like, your directional buttons. No, A, B, Y, X. I've always found this one very annoying because I had very bad reaction time. I was not sure what button was what at the time when it came to the holes. It was only just now when I was growing up that I understood what it meant. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a perfect for this! Stop! 101? That's all I made? No, wait, never mind. I got a perfect. That's 300 yen. Or a total of 401 yen in total. So I think next time you should do the faster course. That way you get more money. Because if not for the perfect, I only gained like 1 yen. That's the only profit I made. Okay, I think I should go to the store again. And probably buy an. Oh, yeah, I can't get another straw coat with this. But I should buy some more bombs. Alright, let's do that. We're good to go. Of course, to switch your weapons, just press, like, the R button. You can actually throw your yen as well, but remember, you'll lose coins as a result, of course. Uh, the Lantern Man could be connected to Koban's disappearance. That's pretty much all I got from this. Go over here. The Lottery! Ooh! Feeling like a gambling man. I think it's gonna stop on turtle. I gotta get. Yeah, let's go with A. 
So, basically, you have to get like three draws. The animal, the letter, and the number. Okay, so either way, you're gonna get like 50 yen. Second prize, if it lands on like two... Well, actually, you're just selecting the letter over there as two. If I match up two, and I get A, I get 200. Oh, close enough. Now you get the X. And I got nothing out of that. Okay, that was pretty cool. I'm guessing you can get, like, second place multiple times if I got, like, whatever. Ah, look at that, 1337. That's elite. I was never good at the lottery. When it comes to luck like that, I'm pretty shit. Then again, how can you have skill with luck? Pretty much knowing when to stop. Okay, let's take on these mysterious figures over here. As soon as you take them all out, we can go over inside here. And that's where you take on the boss. Yes, yes, I know. It's side-scroller, but there's no actual level. You just go straight to the boss. Arr, you must be Koban Cat's partner. Come on, I'm ready for you. Let's fight it out right now. Okay, so be careful because a bunch of lanterns are going to drop. Like so. And you have to take the white ones out first. After a while, they're going to start shooting. I think they only shoot straight. And just remember, this lantern man can actually jump. So make sure you don't throw yourself off. Okay, these guys only just fire straight, depending on your current position. There we go. Once you take out all the white lanterns, then you have to deal with the red ones. Their attack power is a bit different. Like, the flames will somewhat home? At least I think that's the case. Yeah, they do. Just remember to hold down and jump if you want to drop down. You know, it's kind of like Contra. I don't know if Castlevania had that same feature. But I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, let me try a bomb here. Whatever is caught in that blast radius will also be damaged. Go. You can use your yo-yo for, like, long range, or just use the bomb if you want to. The coins be longer range, but you don't want to waste your money. And there we go. Oh, hi. Thanks for helping me out of there. I'm Koban Cat. I've been waiting for you. We're a band of ninja cats. Protecting Edo is our responsibility. We're on a top-secret mission. The precious Princess Yuki, the one and only daughter of the ruler of Edo, has been kidnapped. We search all over Japan, and now we think we know where she is. It seems she's been taken by a mysterious group of masked men. These masked men have special weapons that cripple our ability to change forms. It's these special weapons of theirs that have caused us so much trouble. But we learned something. The horrible otafu army of Waji Island have been known to kidnap women. They must have taken Princess Yuki. She has to be there. Please, we beg of you. Save Princess Yuki. Okay. <laughs> I love how Kid Yang just leaves uh, apathetically, or Goemon, if you call him that. Okay, we'll just stare at the fireworks, we'll stare at the cat, and then we'll actually save the princess. The fireworks come first, man! Kid Ying and Dr. Yang encounter the Hiotoko army and did away with them. Now they must go to Awaji Island to take care of the Otafu army, wicked kidnappers of helpless people. Ooh, shots fired. Women are helpless? <laughs> That's how it's kind of sexist. Okay, so level 3 is the amusement park. It's not really much of a level because there's no boss, but it is interesting nonetheless. So I'll stop the video here. Next part, we're going to do level 3. Goodbye, everyone.